Welcome to watch the second part of MX9 point cloud registration and colorization. These two procedures are both optional depending on your project requirement. Feel free to jump to the next video about data export. If you have closed the update scans window, reopen it and go to the second page. Check the box for colorization, then generate a vehicle mask. The TBC project folder will pop open where six PGM files are created. Use a third-party application such as EarthenView to open the first one. What does a vehicle mask do and why we need it? The MX-9 laser scanners and other accessories fall into the panoramic view at each camera position. If we don't block them with a mask, same pixel information will be used to colorize the point cloud and leave an artificial trail. With a mask, the colorization will look more natural. Back in Earthen View, we can black out the instrument area from Edit, Paint Dialog. Change the foreground color to pure black, then make a wide enough paintbrush. Hold the mouse left button to cover MX9. It doesn't have to be very accurate, but make sure all the instrument parts will be covered, such as cables and crossbars. Save the image to the TBC project folder and replace the old one. Use the right arrow to open the second image. This one contains the side of the MX-9. Make the same modification until 6 PGM files are all updated. As long as the MX-9 unit sits in the same position on the same vehicle, this vehicle mask can be reused. In that scenario, instead of generating a new mask, click the Browse button to use your existing template. Click Process. This is quite a time-consuming procedure because the point cloud needs to be computed first, then to be colorized pixel after pixel. That is also why we would like to make the colorization the last step to avoid unnecessary recoloring. In the View Filter Manager, two new scan files are generated. Let's turn off the original scans and use the same limit box method for a quick visual check. Now the point cloud aligns with the control point much better. Walk through other points along the run. 
You may also want to see some statistics. Select all the controls. Right-click to open Point Comparison Report. The points with the asterisk are registered scan points. From there, you can compare the before and after values. Let's not forget about the colorization. Change the rendering to true color. Keep in mind that colorize the point cloud is mainly for better visualization, and we should refer to other rendering methods for serious measurements. To keep the project size down, you may also delete the unregistered scans. Thank you for watching. See you next time.